I reported that uh, uh, Palmer Pavilion is booked up oh, yeah. till March for Saturday and Sundays. Uh, they use the, well, the fee, there is no fee for the use of the Palmer Pavilion. And so, for most of the people, everybody books a thing on Saturday. Okay? So, now they're available during the week, but that doesn't do us any good. Um, and that the park next to it, which is Charlie Curtis Park, is a city-owned property. So that would probably be, you know, you show up, you take control of it, you can use it, right? I mean, there's no restrictions. There's no reservations. And no reservations. Charlie, the Charlie Curtis Park is, is relatively nice, by the way. It's got some shelters. It's got some little barbecue areas where you got some shelters. And so that would lend itself real well for little breakout areas for workshops and stuff if it's if it's not inclement weather. And the people for peace and justice are actually meeting right now. And uh, yeah, and you want to speak more? I actually have to make an announcement. Yeah, we have actually. I have to go to San Juan. We've got a little meeting. <coughs> yeah, I'll make an announcement. All right. Um, the. Um, Last week I said we were going to try and have a little event at STC in Westlaco. Um, something because there was some discussion there about you know, the, um, the police acting on the, um, the pepper spraying and this kind of thing really being not a case of enforcing some local ordinance, anything like that, but rather um, um, political repression. And if this sort of thing were allowed, I mean, if this thing happened in Korea, Hillary Clinton would denounce it. Right. So, um, but all over this country, there has been this kind of action, and it can't be interpreted as just um, local police events. It has to be looked at differently. So, the um, the meeting is planned, and it may have been on the uh, Facebook, was it? Okay. And I invited um, Rico from the Pan Am. Is that his name? Rico. Yeah. Pan Am. And um, he's, um, so can I just put the address on the board? Okay. Um, and it's a seven o'clock. Um, STC Westlaco. Not the, right. everyone makes a mistake. But it's Westlaco STC border. Sorry. And business 83. The uh, um, tomorrow. Um, it's just the end of finals. We don't expect many students, but several teachers were interested in this, have given it out to students, and some said they wouldn't go drinking after finals and would try to come. So we might have a little group there. It's sponsored by the Philosophy Club, and the format is this: there's going to be a 10-minute presentation, something like that, on what is Occupy. Um, and then I've got this little wrap I want to give on what is repression, and um, and then it's open. People can ask questions, whatever. Um, there might be students there. There might be one, two, five. We don't know. Any, anyway, but we made sure that the room's reserved. It's um, room one seventy one, and it's reserved in a way that you can get outsiders. There's no problem on parking. G G one seventy one. So it could be kind of a kick if uh, anyone could come. It's a classroom, and there is um, um, technology in it. So if you wanted to show the pepper spray, I think I'm going to have one of the students find that that scene of the pepper spraying back and forth. The University of Tech University of California Davis does just it's just so strange. It's just so right out of the kind of thing Hillary Clinton would deny. Amnesty International would. Denounce in the it's so hate Ashbury, right? Yes, yes. <laughs> it's so hate Ashbury. <laughs> yes. So, anyhow, that's it, and it it is the room reserved. It's reserved for public use. There will be cookies and uh, parking is no problem. Um, and it's tomorrow. If anyone can come, it'd be great. Is there an address for that campus? 
Yes, the, if you go to Westlaco, ask anywhere where STC is, but it's on it's Business 83 and Border. It's wide open, uh, no reason we can't recruit people um, if people are there, and uh, the subject matter is open. The question is, what is what is Occupy Wall Street and what is repression? So there'll be two questions, and we'll be discussing anyway. Why wasn't this kind of action on the part of the police the same with, with uh, the Tea Party? Yeah. The tea party, the tea party is conforming to the box that's been established. They are fighting. They carried weapons. It doesn't matter. They're not. They arguing. were carrying weapons. They're not arguing against the, the fundamental right? assumptions of our society to the, to the ideological box. Yeah. They well, I, I don't understand that. Diagram that for me, if you would. What dial? What they're they're? Uh, how are we not conforming to that ideological box? We we're challenging the assumptions of the foundations of our society. We're saying that the top. The the, 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 public, the politically and financially powerful should not have as much influence as they do. Okay, so then Frank, and what they're doing, what they're doing then is that they're saying that the money that we're spending on government is going not to our benefit but to other people's benefit. Is that is that, uh, yeah. or that is to say, other people that are not us? It's it's it's. Uh, I don't want to get into a racism uh, polemic. Okay. Because TEA also stands for that's enough already. Tax enough. No. Tax no, no. I think that's what that's it enough already. Okay. Their 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 definition is taxed enough already. Okay? But what they really are saying is that that's enough already. But have you seen their uh... in other words, I don't want my money, my money going to them people. Oh, well, I, I interpreted it that way, but okay. even then, that's still going within the same ideological box. Of right. Well, so that's the difference, is it? Yeah, we're outside. Well, of, we're out. We're saying this whole model is incorrect, and and that's what they're violently reacting. To. We have a six o'clock. We have a meeting. Sam, you have to go there. No, 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 no. That's <laughs> great. I, is there is there an, a no, Facebook no. event post okay. for the peace and justice okay. thing? Okay. Yeah. Um, we personally don't do okay. the Facebook, but somebody yeah. else uh, with PFP usually does. Uh, yeah. So we should check so, it out. Yeah, yeah. check, check uh, people for peace and justice. Start early because everybody gets lost. Even though it's the smallest town in the world. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we're okay. Okay. Thank you. Bye. Good to see you. Good to see you. The Tea Party discussion for some of the time and place, not inside me. Like when, Mike? <laughs> no, I think it's fine, but I um I, I just feel though that like it, to me we're kind of missing the obvious point that this is. I mean, I was just thinking about this, right? We really need a peace rally. I mean, I was, I, that was just an idea. I had like well, you know we're like that simple word peace is what I think we're all thirsting for or thriving for, and our nation's been at war for a very long time since I've been born. Cold War, Gulf War One, 
Gulf War II, you know, whatever, whatever, so on and so forth. So the fact that this is the only movement that's, I think, most aligned with peace is a threat to the kind of, like, you know, existential, I mean, these people that like, you know, I, for the first time I am waving the flag because I'm like, you know what, I'm standing up, I'm speaking out. So for me, it is a weird thing because I, I was born here, like an American, but I'm only now like exercising my rights. But because I, so many people are speaking out, but to me, that's where, the, that's why the establishment so threatened by Occupy because we're the only ones that are saying, yo, the whole system is like, you know, our country's at war. <laughs> like, how can we not be going crazy? Our country is killing, but they might bomb us. We've been bombing them for decades, hundreds of, you know, we've killed over 100,000 Iraqis, funded both sides of the Iran-Iraq war. That's a million dead there. Uh, you know, Afghanistan, we, we're the ones that trained, uh, you know, bin Laden and crew, maybe not him specifically, whatever. You know, the Mujahideen, I mean, the whole thing, <coughs> the enemy of my enemy is my friend. That's, that's the sick, twisted... Uh, U.S. foreign policy mentality, and it's beyond. I, I don't even. I don't even consider it U.S. policy anymore. It's like this global, you know, these powers that be that like the U.S. is just another puppet. How can how can you be a sovereign country when your money supply is not even in your hands? Hmm. So I mean, I feel very like weird saying all that, but I was listening to something where it's like you just got to keep saying the truth over and over again, and then eventually someone's going to listen. But that's why they're threatened, not because of any other thing, just that we're like the war machine, the military complex. And I was a part of it in my own way. So thank you, Ralph, for letting me. <laughs> no, you know. Uh, <laughs> exactly. I don't know that the establishment has been threatened at all by the discussion that we're having. Existentially, yeah. I mean... Existentially, it has it has changed the conversation. We we are now um, we are now in, in the vocabulary that we didn't have before. We're talking about social justice. We're talking about income inequality, which everybody has known in their bones since the seventies. Uh, we've known this. We all allowed it to happen. We voted for and supported a charismatic idiot by the name of Reagan. Uh, we stumbled into one fool after another, and here we are. And we're surprised. Why in the hell are we surprised? And we're asking, and then there was a charge made, or there was a discussion point made uh, on, on Facebook, uh, and it said, you know, uh, they've stolen... The 1% has stolen resources or money or whatever, right? Okay, that's a nice charge. It's a romantic charge. It's, it's, it's a good leveling of, of, of an indictment. But um, what? We're going to ask them to give it back? Are you kidding me? Kidding real. They're not going to give it up. You know, and are we, and are they going to give it up? Ask yourselves, are they going to give it up? No. Okay, are we, are we prepared, <coughs> willing, and able to take it away? No. No, we're not. The, the, fact that, the fact that these conversations are actually happening with a, a lot of people, and the fact that they were happening openly, uh, where anybody could, could participate in those types of discussions is what was, mm -hmm. is, what is most, was most threatening by the Occupy encampments. Uh, I mean, and it's the, like the fact that the fact that such a conversation could happen with a lot of people together, you know, like, yes, that's what's threatening to the status quo. I, I understand that, and, and, they, and their response is no different than the responses that were in the in the 1860s, 1867, 1890s, 1910, 1920, and and all those eras. It was the very same damn response: repression. You know, they are using the instruments of the state, which we all fund. That's, that's actually my point, is that, you know, the fact that they own this wealth, is, it's right. imaginary wealth in terms of money. Money is just yes. an idea. And their ownership of lands and stuff is not... It's not the it's issue. It's not feasible with the, the majority of people They're disregarding and ignoring yeah. their authority. Right. Their but they have used... Who calls on these instruments of the state? I would like to know 
Who picks up the phone and says, hey, you, New York Police Department, get your ass over there and, and, and knock these tents down? Who is doing that? Well, Bloomberg claimed them as their own first mark. Yes, okay. And he coordinated that with other cities, oh, yeah. other mayors. Okay, so, so then we have the National League of Cities involved. The National Association of Governors involved. So Congress is complicit. So we can point to elected officials, but unfortunately, they're not the real sources of authority either. I mean, they're no, they're they've been bought and yeah. paid for, right? right? Because right. of the idea of money. Okay. 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 So let's let's get let's get beyond the that. Okay. Let's get beyond all that. Okay. Now, what what pragmatic steps can we take? to start chipping away at these pillars of support that they have. Right? Informing people I, I about what's really happening. That's one of the they don't want to hear it, man. That's well, really, like, that's, that's a, I mean, we say, do, do we, do we believe in democracy? That's yes, we do. So, <laughs> how, how, so I, I, I want to correct you. Let me just start. Say, you tell me how that's disrespectful. Because that's, well, I mean, so if you're, if you're saying people don't want to know about it, then you're, telling, then you're basically saying it wrong. Basically, basically you're not you're not connecting with with uh, with them, with the reality of their. Who's them? Well, you, the people that you're referring to. You and me. That say they don't want to. That they don't want to. You and me. All of us. Did you, did you remember what you said just before? You yes. Asked me this question. Right. Those people. They, who are those people? Who are they? Who, do, who, who don't is they? Yeah, who, I want to know is who in the hell is they? Who is they who don't want to hear it? Right. Yeah. Well, that's, that's that's the same well my, my neighbors. Discussions here tonight. All right. Are we going to get to some other yeah, discussions? Yeah, sure. Not for so long. <laughs> no, go ahead. I no. just want to know if, uh, because I'm not going to stick around just to hear arguments. I want to just get something on the table and start. Okay. All right. We'll call it. Uh, what, what do you want on the table? So solutions. I like, want action. Yeah, let's do some action. Okay. Let's, I think we planned enough. We talked enough. I believe so. Yeah, I'm I'm we can agreement. talk at the action. Joe, yeah. so there's something uh, we have, uh, we're planning on that. Yeah. But we can't, if we, uh, there's the, the summit deal is in, plan, in the works and then there's, if uh, people want to, next week is a, a week of action. Um, the whole Occupy Congress deal is going to be happening this week, and so like that. Yeah. Are there any actions that con congressional um, offices? Right. Are they in? Se they're still in session, right? Are they going to come back? Uh, or they're they're, they're going to come back next next uh, week, which is why the. Which is why the um, week of action is called dinner too. Right. I thought that was pretty interesting. Although, uh, if we if we were able to coordinate a nationwide, you know, talking to our elected representative, that, would be, mm -hmm. that might be effective in some way. Now we we've steered away from political affiliation. Right. Okay. The Progressive Caucus sent out a letter to the Occupy. Wall Street movement people saying that they appreciated the uh, the Occupy Washington D.C. event, which was last week, right? I mean, there was a, there was a, there was people that that showed up at the offices of the congressmen and representatives from all different parts of, of, uh, of the country uh, with the with the goal of. Um, of bringing a million people to Washington, D.C. Well, whatever number showed up was enough for the Progressive Caucus <laughs> to send a letter to us, if you would, and saying, thank you, keep it up, we'd like to see more of you. Okay? I mean, it's, it's some... I, to work. Okay, I'm going to... Jump in, I guess. So, um, Bob, do you have any? I mean, you want to see some action? Do you have anything in terms of level, an idea that we can take, a, that people can take a simple step towards just getting involved? Because right now we just need to jump start. I think we just need to feel. What's something. on the table right now? What things are on the table? We have we have a uh, seven P uh, Westlaco. This is a peace and justice mm -hmm. conference. Yeah. 
that, Wait, um, you know, we, we have the, the, the action at the, at the, we have two representatives, we have two senators, the, the two senators don't have offices in the Valley, you know, but we have Cuellar and then we have, you know, Hossa that have offices in, in, uh, in, uh, one is in, uh, McAllen, which is in Hossa on, uh, Wells Fargo. Okay. And then the other one is, uh, Mission. Mission. Okay. That's the Hossa Mission. You know, Cuellar, Cuellar is, uh, is a uh, jingle. Well, have we, def is, have we identified an issue yet that we want to address? Well, I would. I do. I have one. Okay. Which is demilitarize the border. The Mexican-American border <coughs> is, the, is, is, is the most deep, most militarized zone in the world without a declaration of war. That's interesting. And it is. And, and, if you, and if you want to declare war in Mexico, let's get on with it, okay? <laughs> let's get with it, okay? Uh, in, in, 18, in 1847, there was, a, there was a banner that said, hey, Patagonia are bust. Let's get on to Patagonia. Now, where in the hell is Patagonia? <laughs> is this something Occupy wants to take on? Yeah, right. Well, I mean, okay, I, so I wasn't at the last, I wasn't at the last meeting, um, but I... Here's the notes I've just been writing down, right? That, like, I think we have to acknowledge, I believe everyone's struggling. I don't think there's anyone uh, immune from this struggle. I don't care how rich. Now, if you're rich, your struggle's different, and I'd rather be in that struggle than the one I'm in, but it's still a struggle. You know, you get too rich too fast, your kids are, you know, crack addicts now. Your money's burning in the rehab. I mean, it's that type of, uh, I don't know, I call, want to call it American life, but that just seems life all the world around. All the rich people I know back in India, they're having first world problems. You know, it used to be that in the third world you didn't have depression. All of a sudden now people are getting depressed in India because they just the system's messed up. So I think if we acknowledge that everyone's struggling, well then why aren't there more people behind Occupy? I, for me, it's they got to be depressed. They're in denial. That's what you do when the world's blowing up around you. Your country's at war. You don't have control over anything. I think to survive, you have to kind of go in denial of what's going on. So for me, it's just like kind of starting back there and, 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 and like challenging people out of their denial. And I'm having a very tough time in my own friend circles talking about Occupy right now. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just kind of like... What are you talking about? Right? Yeah, it's just like, dude, there's, why, just work, man. There's work out there. Why aren't you working? So, okay, for my part, I... I, I hello. <laughs> Not even the, I don't know, because that's stuck. Yeah. Whatever. You, you, you <laughs> know, I, I, I am not negative about what's going on here, okay? I am very enthusiastic about what's going on. I'm amazed at the depth and breadth of the thoughts that you young folks have, okay? <laughs> I've been here a while, uh, and I'm, I'm surprised. I'm really surprised. That there are in in some levels of uh, of development some real solutions, I and mean, some real solutions, and one of them is is the acknowledgement and and recognition that uh, we have a problem. We we have a systemic problem, and it's and it's pervasive. It's not something, as Obama said Sunday, he says they may take. Two terms, and it may take more than one term, and may take more than one president, with several terms, to change the culture that we're involved in. It's a mess. No way, Obama's part of that mess. No, I mean, the culture is. No, the culture is a mess. Okay, the culture is a mess. We have gotten so Sorry. smart, uh, so cute about seeking solutions that that we have strangled ourselves. Well, it's because we're still using the same level of thinking that we've got. Correct. Okay. We should, now, uh, now, Frank, we should, we should like, not have like, this discussion here. Yeah. I where, mean, John Michael, where are we going to put, put a place and a, and a day and a time so what is and do it? Yeah. Yeah. So, did you guys spend, was it, I catch that right, $24 on coffee? <laughs> I don't believe so. <laughs> and this is, this is what I brought up. It, I, this is the exact point I made. The, the money's going to burn. We're going to end up back to zero. Or we're going to raise more money and we're going to have a money problem who controls it. Or we can be creative 
with the $184 we have, don't do my idea, but let's come up with, that's 184 of our money. Let's do something cool with it, but in a way that like is something different, right? Something different. But otherwise, you're gonna get caught. I mean, that's like, you know, it just, uh, you like, we're all over Robin Hood's ranch here. You know, we're all over Robin Hood's ranch here with the ideas. I think we need to select an issue, like identify, like you were saying, uh, something that we need to address and, and, and address it. I would, I would suggest the corrupt nature of our monetary system, of, of which all the other problems are derived. I mean, uh, but I think you need to set up a, a system to do that here to, to deal with that. But you're going to need to identify something and then address it. Otherwise, you're just going to talk forever. And and that's and it's not that you don't need to talk, but yeah. I mean, you, you okay. can't. This can't be the form of that. Um, we have a peace and justice thing coming up. Why don't we use that as a theme? Peace. Let's just talk about why have we been at war for so long. What, what, what are we at war for? But you you know? can't take on every idea that someone throws out there. You're going to have to generate something here that you, this group, as organizers, feel needs to be identified and addressed. Well, I... You know, I, I threw I threw something out a long time ago, and, and in terms of locally, you know, something local. We're concerned about um, efficiency in government. Let's say that's an issue that we all can say, okay, you know, let's talk about that. Um, we have 17 cities in one county. Why don't we have one city? In other words, a unified city county government. And it's not a new idea, okay? No, it's not. Dade County, Florida has it. Semi Valley, California is the same thing. Same geographic area. And and you know, you have city managers from one side of the valley to the other all making a hundred thousand yeah. plus. School superintendents, the same amount of money. Everybody raises the C D B G funds for their fire trucks and tankers and stuff. And I imagine people could pull their health insurance too. Well, you know, you know, whatever. I mean, I mean, that's something that we can start to look at. That'll keep us all busy for quite a while. <laughs> I think we we should start like organizing, uh, doing some kind of fundraising, maybe um, trying to to. Do like a community, buy like some land for occupy and, and start planting and getting ready for, I don't know, for something terrible that we know is going to happen. <laughs> and, you know, grow, just grow, do something. I mean, a two top 2012 party. No. For, for the, for the, no, no. yeah. Well, I know some of the people are engaging in community gardens and things like that. Mm -hmm. We all like, do like our like unoccupied, you know, thing. I, I mean, I, I never reported on this, but there was a couple of Saturdays ago we went to Brownsville. <coughs> I went to Brownsville, but uh, I carpooled with, I uh, can't remember her name, but it was uh, related to um, in Brownsville, they have a uh, Lincoln Park, a community garden, RGB green scene. This was Joe Boswell, um, who was behind it, and he said just to come out. We went, and they're taking, the garden has these grass reeds that grow, and they were just cutting them down with a machete. It's making like little mazes and stuff, and then using those grass reeds, they're putting plastic bottles on them. Those become the walls for the, the greenhouse. Um, you know, it was something simple, nifty, it was going on local, but um, there's stuff happening, there's a lot of stuff happening around here. Um, I know, Bob, I feel like that could be our function in Occupy, is not so much to reinvent the wheel, but just to inform people on what are all the events that are going on, and giving our chance, giving us time to think, grow, and maybe like reflect, and go out to these events, and maybe have a unified way of I don't want to use the word infiltrating, but you know, cross pollinating. Yeah. Um, See, in my in my personal view, 
and all these individual organizations and groups, you know, they're trying to do better. They all have one their single issue, and and that divides divides us and, and loses focus of their of what is what what really are the root problems, what the root causes are. And if we were able to you know get to all these people and start bringing their attention to what's really causing their issues problem, then we can develop networks like that. You could function as a clearinghouse for those other organizations, but I think you're still going to have to identify one or two topics that you want to focus on. Well, that's actually. Then this goes back to moving a survey just, within Occupy, like a significant survey, not just 10, 15 people, but like if 100 people identified an issue, I think that would be a big deal. Uh, yeah, the, valley. The, the, the skeleton document that you, that you prepared, right? I think what might be useful to all of us, for example, is for you to teach us how to work the Google document so that we can have um, some way to, to sticky notes. Is that possible? You know, uh, post sticky notes. You know, maybe here we can do this, we can talk <coughs> about this, or maybe here we can talk about that, or can we print this skeleton document out and then, and then flesh it out a little bit more to a particular need, or, or have somebody identify a list of organizations that, that we would be making this presentation to in an effort to, to, we don't want to inform anybody, okay? We want to indoctrinate people, okay? That's a different process. We don't want to give anybody information. We want to convince them, to indoctrinate them, to propagandize what it is that we want to do. We're propagandizing ourselves. But, but we're in a chicken and egg situation. We're not the majority. We're not a functioning democracy. We're not the thing that we claim is the solution. Like we're, we're both growing. We're undefined, but then like to grow, we have to define ourselves. But what I'm saying is we can't... So who are we going to tell the story to? Everyone. <laughs> well, I mean, that's the point, right? I mean, that's what uh, we need but, to but right he, now. You develop, you develop the skeleton. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a very good document okay and and uh, and not everybody organization is going, is going to be told the same thing right I mean but you might want to step in and say something don't you, know? you also want to train other people to be activists as well and how to get these things going I guess part of the, the whole educational program like you were saying well then I mean That's what I'm saying. I mean, then it seems like we should have a discussion on like how would this turn into a nonprofit, what and all that. But then there's that's like a long term goal. It's like eight hundred dollars a year, I think, to get registered and all that. Do we have a mission statement in our this organization? Is there one? We were supposed to be working on that. But then... Oh well, this document I think has goes a long ways towards that. Yeah. What is the? Towards that? It, the... <coughs> look, 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 look at the, look at the. Uh, Occupy McAllen uh, web page and there's a mission statement. There is one. It's not yeah. a mission statement, it's, it's more like a, about, I mean, it's just a general just about the organization, what it represents, and what it claims it wants to do. John Michael, all we got to do is just a mission statement. Yeah. It's too fast, that's it. Well, so the, the campaign presentation is a campaign presentation to, 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 to address a bunch of different issues and also to get into, to, to start, to start generating discussion on root causes, um, and, and of course that needs to be fleshed out or whatever, but that's that's not exactly a mission statement. A mission statement would be, what is our mission as a group, you know? Um, and so so the campaign the campaign presentation is like, what is the reason that Occupy even came about, you know? that's It answers those, that, that kind of question, not what are we doing as a group. You know, um, but and then there's also a, a list of uh, just to address another thing that you mentioned. Uh, there's a list of organizations uh, that we put together since the, the very beginning. That's on the Google that, I mean, the, it's on the Facebook group. Um, it's the local that's organization um, that needs to be also listed in the contact information. And, and, uh, we also need to do a training.